Um, it's worth starting by saying this storm isn't over yet, especially here on the South Shore, the Cape and the Islands, and the South Coast, as well as up in the Cape Ann area. We're still dealing with significant winds, tree damage, and power outages. The State Emergency Operations Center in Framingham and MEMA's East Regional Emergency Operations Center were activated first thing this morning. We're coordinating closely with our local partners. There's been a lot of back and forth between MEMA uh, and their team and between the Lieutenant Governor and me and many of our colleagues in local government to help them with whatever they may need. Uh, the Lieutenant Governor, as I said, has been on the phone pretty much all day with local leaders. Police, fire, EMTs, DPW, and highway crews and the utilities have been working since first thing this morning and all day to respond and clean up as safely as they possibly can, given some of the issues associated with the wind. We can't thank everybody enough for their hard work on this, but there's significant work left to be done, and the most significant impact we're seeing at this point obviously relates to the power outages. Um, we talked earlier. Uh, the chief pointed out to us that if um, this was next week's tide instead of this week's tide, we'd probably be dealing with very significant flooding and water damage as well. Um, I'm doing the best I can to find the positiveness in all of that. Um, at, this, at this point in time, there are about 500,000 customers without power, and this is a pretty concentrated hit. It's mostly in the South Shore and down onto the Cape. Folks should remember the storm isn't finished and crews are working to make roadways and other infrastructure safe. Um, we certainly saw a ton of that on our way down here and I'm sure that uh, anybody who lives anywhere between sort of Quincy and, um, and the end of the Cape can probably not have to go very far to find really good examples of how rough this storm was on their communities. National Grid never source and the other utilities are already working to restore power where they can but in some cases they do need to wait until the winds come down before it's really going to be safe to get up into a bucket truck. They'll talk a little bit more detail about their restoration efforts in a minute, but at this time they expect that it will be a multi-day process. And if you have to go out and you're in some of these areas that have been really hard hit, we would ask you to be very safe when you do so. Fallen trees have impacted roadways across the Commonwealth and especially in Eastern Mass and on the South Shore and down on the Cape, so please drive carefully. There are crews that are out cleaning up debris all over the place, give them some room. And also, in some areas, coastal roadways have flooded out. Again, drive carefully and don't go through big puddles if you can avoid it. On the transportation front this morning, commuter rail service was impacted at several locations. Red line service on the Braintree branch and the Mattapan trolley line service had to be replaced with buses while crews worked to remove trees and large branches from those routes. Thankfully, all the MBTA and commuter rail lines are running normally at this time. Crews have been pre-positioned to respond to any issues such as downed trees and localized flooding, so that's helped restore some of the service faster. And we ask commuter rail customers to please be patient because while the trees may be off the tracks in many areas, passengers are still experiencing some delays due to the ongoing issues associated with signals, which are all due, of course, to the outages we're seeing everywhere else. The same goes for all the ferries. Please check the MBTA.com schedule for changes and cancellations there. With respect to public safety, residents who are not able to stay in their homes without power should reach out to their local communities, police and fire, their local emergency management operations, mayor, city managers' offices, um, and seek other options, and if they can, stay with friends or family. Neighbors should be as good as they can be and to check in with one another if they have any concerns about one of theirs. We don't expect any major issues to develop overnight, but MEMA will continue to monitor this situation closely, including keeping an eye on additional threats with respect to the next high tide over the next few hours, which may in fact be significant. Everyone should pay attention to their local public safety officials on this stuff, and we're going to continue to do all we can to help the utilities to get their work done so that they can help. Uh, make sure that we get people back up and operational as soon as possible. And with that, I will turn it over to Lieutenant Governor. We're here in situate at the Emergency Operations Center. Uh, local officials 
who are quite familiar with the impacts that a storm can have in a community. And we find ourselves back here once again. To reiterate what the governor has said, we've had significant impacts in municipalities across the state, particularly here on the South Shore, the Cape and the Islands. Many communities are dealing with extensive tree damage, and that means they've got a lot of trees down and power lines down. As the light turns into darkness, just be very careful. There are still a lot of trees and leaves and uh, covering wires that could be exposed. Throughout the day, we've been coordinating with, with our partners at the local level, and we stand ready to assist and support them in any and all ways that we can uh, and we will do. Our team at MEMA, you'll hear from Sam uh, soon, is also working with the Mass Public Works Association on mutual aid requests and sharing DPW resources from unimpacted communities. The association has 300 communities and is working to accommodate any requests for saw and tree crews from several communities. We've already deployed equipment to affected areas. As the governor said, please check on your neighbors and those in need during this time. I think you all know how to do that and are willing to do that. Thank you to the hard work of the crews that have stepped up in cities and towns to clear debris and make roadways safe. They know their work does not end until this mission ends. It's a 24-7 response with a tremendous amount of urgency, coordination, and collaboration to get this done for the people of our Commonwealth. We appreciate your, your patience as we work through this, and above all, be safe. Watch out for your children and your pets and your neighbors. Keep them away from down power lines. Continue to be informed by monitoring important updates through all the channels uh, here covering uh, this avail as well as your social media and other ways that you keep yourself informed.